Iro, moving on, Canadian Prime Minister Stephen Harper brushes off calls for an inquiry into reports of violence against Aboriginal women. Harper says the government has no information about allegations of abuse committed by the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. He, however, says that a commission would pursue the claims. Human Rights Watch has accused Canadian police of mistreating Aboriginal women. The group says many of these women have reported excessive use of force, strip searches, as well as physical and sexual abuse by male officers. According to Human Rights Watch, dozens of murders and disappearances of women have been reported in the country's northern regions. It's calling on Ottawa to investigate those reports. Joining us now from Calgary, Alberta, Canada is our correspondent Joshua Blakeney. Uh, Joshua, it seems that the government of Canada has a lot to answer for regarding uh, the rights violations of its aboriginals, but why is the Harper government uh, uh, giving this issue a cold shoulder? Well, there's a perception that the Harper government is in the pocket of the very resource companies that profit from the plundering of resources that lie in the hinterland in places like British Columbia, where there's uh, great deposits of gold and of uh, diamonds and of other natural resources. And so these mining companies uh, appear to have the Harper government in their, in their pocket and the Aboriginal peoples are viewed as a kind of uh, obstacle uh, to their lucrative uh, commerce that they uh, do that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so there is a perception that the Harper government is not really that interested in the plight of Canada's uh, Aboriginal peoples. And that was displayed by his rather risible uh, response to uh, questions in the parliament today. I mean, the opposition were asking, "Why are you going to create some kind of uh, independent police force to investigate this? And his response was, no, these Aboriginal women who are saying they've been raped by the police, that they should go to, to the police to complain. So you have an 89-page Human Rights Watch uh, report uh, that was published yesterday stating unambiguously that you know, uh, out of five out of the ten towns that they visited, Aboriginal women were, were complaining of having been raped and having been abused and assaulted. Uh, 194 incidents of the police using firearms on children. Uh, and the Harper government's response is, well, these people should just go to the police when the police are the ones who are accused of having engaged in criminality. And so there appears to be a disconnect between the reality and the Harper government's kind of... Uh, our ideological uh, varnished version of how he'd like things to be. And that's why we see this non-responsiveness. I mean, in recent weeks, I've been coming on Press TV and trying to explain to Press TV viewers about the Idle No More movement, why there was this ubiquitous uh, protest among a Aboriginal Canadians in this country. And I think that this report has, is, a, is a good indicator of why Aboriginal peoples have despaired and why Aboriginal peoples have mobilized and are engaging in, in civil resistance throughout this country right now. There's going to be protests today throughout Canada uh, about this issue of Aboriginal women potentially being kidnapped, being murdered, being raped. And now we see that the malfeasance extends into the highest echelons of power in this country. Now, the Harper government has shown a recognizable uh, disdain for any third party oversight, any third party scrutiny. They don't like it when the United Nations or UN Watch or, uh, or the UN or Human Rights Watch or Amnesty uh, International uh, scrutinize the internal affairs in C Canadian society. Right. They don't like it when there's that scrutiny. And obviously this is because the, the, the criminality in Canada is uh, occurring in, in the highest uh, chambers of power. Uh, and they don't like it when the police are being accused of criminality, and that is what's been been be, be contained. What's contained in this in this latest uh, human rights report. Uh, uh, now, uh, Press TV viewers can look up that Human Rights Watch report, which is entitled "Those Who Take Us Away," and read for themselves uh, voluminous allegations. I mean, one lady cited okay. uh, claims she was taken to a basement and sodomized by police officers. I mean, this isn't what any reasonable society should expect from their law enforcers, and yet this is what's being alleged in this Human Rights Watch report. Thank you, Joshua. We're going to have to leave it there. Press TV's correspondent, Joshua Blakeney from Calgary. Now, things are looking gloomier than expected in Europe as new figures reveal some harsh realities. Germany, France, and Italy's gross domestic product is extremely disappointing, especially given that they're Europe's largest economies. 